I decided to sit on my like cross leg position so that I actually feel more comfortable. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Charlotte and today we're gonna be doing quite a special video. Not a haul video anymore, but an anti-haul video. Um, as a YouTube viewer, I actually really really enjoy this types of like anti-haul videos so that I kind of know everyone's perspective before I go ahead and buy stuff. So today, this is my little thoughts on some of these products that are recently launched. They're either launched like late 2017 or like early 2018. So I think this will be pretty interesting and let's get into it. So I actually got my little cheat sheet here so that I kind of know what I'm going to talk about. Okay, so first thing is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Well, if you guys don't know which palette it is, I will pull like a photo on the screen and you'll probably know what I'm talking about. This palette, it's like a very usual everyday palette. If you're new to makeup, you'll probably be really interested in this palette. But for me, I'm not like new new to makeup. I kind of have quite a lot of palettes that look exactly the same as that. I know some YouTubers do say that um, the Soft Glam palette is probably a good one to have in your collection and it's probably gonna be really handy. It's like the same deal as like the Naked palettes. But for me, for a student, I don't think I wanna spend an extra 70 bucks on a palette like that just because I have other palettes that are like that and I do like those palettes. So um, I don't think I'm gonna throw any more bugs into an everyday brown neutral tone palette. So next thing would be the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. Now I don't have any Marc Jacobs stuff so I'm nothing bad to say towards the brand because I just don't know anything about them. Considering that I read quite a few reviews, I just feel like, you know, it's not my cup of tea. Like the Remarkable Foundation, I'll probably be quite interested in trying it. But the Shameless Foundation, not so much. I'm not paying I don't know how many bucks for a foundation that doesn't really give coverage or gives like a natural coverage. To be honest, if I want to go for a natural look, like a light coverage foundation, just to give myself a bit of SPF, then I'll just use a Korean cushion foundation. Like, they will get the job done so nicely and they're cheaper, a lot cheaper actually. So why would I go ahead and buy a Marc Jacobs foundation solely for that purpose? Next up is, I don't want to say it, but it's the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Collection. Now this collection, when it first came out, I was so excited. I was watching Jeffree's launch video. I wanted to get the palette actually quite badly. Um, me and my friend June, who was like previously on my channel, we wanted to get that palette so badly, but it sold out. And so then I have some time to like, you know, calm down, cool down and actually think about whether I need that palette. That palette actually looks very, very similar to the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. Now I'm not saying that they're complete dupes. They're definitely not. Um, the two palettes are different on their own. However, there are shades that are in the same vibe. I have to say like I really really wanted to get that palette at the start because solely because of the like row of red color at the very bottom of the palette. Those reds look gorgeous. But then after having that little time for me to wind down and just to think about it, I feel like I have quite a lot of red shades, to be honest. And do I need it? Probably not. Do I still want it? Probably a little bit. But would I get it? I don't really think so. It's such a fuss to get Jeffree Star products in Australia or in Hong Kong. But I am trying to get one for June because I haven't got her birthday present, as you can probably tell from my last from my previous video. So yeah, I'm still trying to get my hands on the palette, but only for June, not really for myself. Also, the reason why I said I didn't want the collection instead of just I didn't want the palette is because I do have a couple of Jeffree Star liquid lips. I do like the formula, but 
they're not my favorite. I do actually want to try his like metallic formula, but the thing is, I don't actually wear them out. Like, I do have a couple of metallic lips from Milani and all that brand, but I'm not drawn towards metallic shades on a daily basis, so I just didn't want to like get them. Okay, so next thing is the Kylie Storm collection. Now, congratulations to Kylie for giving birth to Stormy. I think that's her name. Yeah. This collection is actually a really sweet collection as well because uh, she kind of gave Stormy's name on this collection. However, I just, I'm not drawn towards it. Let's just talk about like the palettes, which I'm always like so intrigued to buy. Firstly, the Eye of the Storm palette, which is the darker palette. The reason I'm not drawn to it is not because of the color scheme. Actually, the color scheme is right down my alley because I like those pops of colors and all those jewel tones and all those dark, smoky vibes to it. However, it is very similar to a palette that I own, which is the ABH Prism palette. Again, I won't say that it, it is an exact dupe, but there are like the colors that drawn me towards the Kylie palette are colors that are in the Prism palette. Do you get it? So like there's no need for me to get the Kylie palette because I have something that's the same. And the other palette which is the Calm Before the Storm palette which is like uh, I would say like a more baby version or more like pastel -y version of um, the Eye of the Storm palette. And this palette, the problem with it it's just solely because it's too pastel-y. Obviously, I like to have colors in my collection so that I can be creative and do looks for my channel, for my Instagram. However, if I need any pastel-y colors, why would I go for a Kylie palette? Why don't I go for like a Morphe palette or like a BH palette, which is so much more affordable? Now, I just find the highlighter in that collection, the loose powder highlighter, it's just... It seemed a little weird like tone and also for like the little like I think there's a highlighting palette as well that one I just find it like really normal and quite dark so I didn't want to get that either and for lips um, I saw they came out with like lipsticks which it's new but um, also because I don't really like the Kylie lip products not because the formula is bad it's just because I feel like I'm saying whatever like the internet is saying I do think the Kylie lip products are really similar to the Colourpop formula in my opinion so I only actually have like um, a couple of like Kylie lip products and so it just makes me wonder do I really need like to try out these lipsticks because I just feel like it's gonna be the same deal as the Colourpop stuff. Next up is the Too Faced Life's a Festival Peace, Love and Unicorns palette. It's another palette, I know. This palette, I'll pull it on the screen again. As you can see, it's just pastel, pastel, pastel unicorns iridescence which is something that Too Faced love to do I I don't hate on unicorns you know like my sister my younger sister she she goes crazy over unicorns but no this palette is just a it's, it's a no it just looks like kids makeup it just does I have nothing to do towards the Too Faced brand I use their Born This Way foundation I love it but this palette is just, I don't like it. Maybe I'm not such an innocent little kid anymore, but I just, I just don't like it. The theme is just not my cup of tea. I feel like I don't need it. I don't ever wear those colors. Okay, so we've come to finally the last thing on my list and it's the Zoeva Opulent collection. Now this collection, I believe, came out late last year. So, I have nothing to do with the Soeva brand. In fact, I actually always have wanted to try their palettes because my friends like swear by them. 
For the Opulence collection, at the start when it first came out, I was very drawn towards the eye palette. It has a lot of beautiful, beautiful jewel tones. It reminds me an awful lot of the storybook cosmetics, like the wizard, like the Harry Potter palette, which was a palette that I really, really wanted to get. So I was thinking, oh, maybe I can get like this palette and I can just bypass that other palette because that palette was super expensive and this palette is apparently a lot cheaper because Soeva is quite an affordable like Sephora brand. The reason why I didn't want it anymore is because I saw it in person in Sephora and I don't know, it just doesn't seem to excite me anymore. And the fact that I only, I think there's only one or two like matte shades it's the same deal as like the Too Faced palette. It's just not enough matte shades. It's not as user user. It's not as user friendly as my other palettes. And I feel like I have those shades hiding in my collection somewhere. So I just didn't want to get it anymore. But obviously it depends because my mind always changes. But the other thing in the Opulence collection that I definitely would not get is the blush palette. Now, I don't know a lot about the Zoeva like face stuff. I only use their brushes and my friends use their eye palettes. So, um, I'm not too sure about the quality, but the color wise, it's just too dark. Yeah, when I saw it in person, I just feel like, no. If I use that on my face, I'll probably look like I've been punched in my face. So this is it for this video, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and also comment down below what sort of new favourites do you have in your collection lately and also subscribe to my channel, click that little bell next to it so you receive a notification every single time I upload and this is it for now and I'll see you all later. Bye!